Hey, it's Marissa Allen, and today I want to talk about behavior modification when it comes to looking at your sales progress and your results for the month. So oftentimes I ask people, hey, did you get your profit and loss statement this month, you know, from last month's activities? Nine times out of ten, I tell you folks, people say no, they don't get it. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to get a bookkeeping report, but I do want you to have some sort of financial ritual or behavior around noticing your own patterns, behaviors, the successes, and even the failures through the lens of creativity and appreciation. And recently I just wrote a blog post on dreamocity.com about this exact thing of four different behaviors I want you to pay attention to from your last month or prior month. So I know you guys know I talk about social media a lot and oftentimes people want a faster cadence of posting or they want, you know, they think they want something, but I'm like, are you actually having conversations with people? Are you talking to people, whether on the phone or on Zoom or Messenger or text? Are you actually connecting with people? So one of the things that you can measure is how many conversations you have. Now I do this daily, but some people can look back at it monthly. And sometimes those conversations, it's one or two people a day we talk to because we're just kind of, you know, out of out of the community. And sometimes we might talk to 10, 20, 30 people in a day. Now, within those conversations, some of them are scripted potentially, and some of them are just super improv, random, catching up, and that's all important. But the idea is there's a connection between those conversations and how many appointments we get. Now, I define an appointment as some time in that conversation where we actually say, hey, for $250 or for $10,000 or for you know a thousand bucks, I'll do this for you. We actually talk about money and we make a request, a verbal request for business, for a transaction, which sometimes conversations don't go there and sometimes they do, right? So tracking that with a different color, a different metaphor or a different visual. The third thing is how much are we putting out in proposals and bids? So from that last sales appointment, if I pitched you know, $200 a month for somebody, if I don't send them the actual proposal and that paperwork for 10 days, that's a long time that goes by. But if I do it within 24 hours, that might just be one day later. And then the fourth thing to be looking at is how much and how often do you actually get paid, right? So if you invoice it the first of the month, you're going to see a bunch of invoice or a bunch of payments hit right after. But sometimes it's fairly random and you get payments throughout the month. And so the petals, a different color, a different icon will show you that. So your typical bookkeeper or accountant or sales coach may or may not give you advice on what to do with that p l but my suggestion get creative with it pay attention open up your quickbooks your paypal your square app your calendar your facebook your linkedin messenger and look for those four things and just notice did you have a good amount of activity was it kind of low were you en- energetically positive throughout the month or was it kind of a Eh, you know, because we notice these different patterns and by noticing your own patterns, you can save so much from hiring other people to help you understand what's wrong. So when you lean in, you understand your own creativities, your own patterns, your own behavior, it can really yield these positive insights that can empower you to keep going. So with that, I encourage you to try at least one of those four things and look back, look back through June or look back through, through May and see how many conversations did you have? How many appointments on your calendar did you actually conduct where you were talking business? How much did you make or how much did you pitch? So those can be very interesting to see how it shows up in that profit and loss as your net income for the month based on how well did you do? Anyways, if you have any questions or if you want me to show you more, I'd be happy to.